Hi, this is Ed Herzog, and in today's video, what I want to do is I want to take you through how to design, how to create a high converting opt-in landing page in Elementor. So this will be a landing page where you're giving something, somebody something free in exchange for their email address. That could be a PDF guide, it could be a webinar, whatever it is you use to attract email subscribers. Now I've got another, uh, another video where I talk through five principles of a, of a high converting landing page. And so I'll be working through kind of those principles as I create this page. Now, before I start the video, I do wanna say one thing. If you go into the Elementor templates, you will see things that are labeled landing pages. I honestly don't like the design of those pages. I don't think they're very well uh, optimized for conversion. I learned how to create uh, high converting, op high converting opt-in landing pages via Thrive Themes. Now, in general, I'm not a huge fan of the Thrive products. I think some of them are okay, but the Thrive Architect, uh, I'm not a fan of, uh, which is why I design pages in Elementor, which I just find a lot easier to use. But you know, Thrive's focus is on conversion. I do think it's one thing they do really well. And they actually, at one point, uh, critiqued one of my landing pages and gave me feedback. And I've since used that feedback and incorporated it into my uh, subsequent landing pages. And I get roughly at a 40 to 60% conversion rate, which I think is pretty good. Um, so I'll be using that basic structure. And uh, so this should take about 30 minutes for me to create this from start to finish. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna add a new page here. I'm already, as you can see in my WordPress dashboard, now, one thing to keep in mind, I'm not focused on SEO here. This is gonna be a very simple page. Um, you know, I'm going to be driving traffic in other ways. I don't really care how this page ranks in Google. I'll drive traffic via Facebook ads or via guest posts, via being on podcasts, that sort of thing. Um, now, this is a, it's gonna be a landing page for related to a blog post that I wrote that's called 27 Simple Ways to Increase Online Sales. So, uh, I'll just add a title in here. We'll just call it, uh, sales tips guidebook okay so uh we'll go ahead and save that as a draft uh, wait for that to finish saving and then go ahead and edit it with elementor and i just realized i wrote types uh i have to correct that later uh not a big deal for this for this particular exercise okay so i'm in here and what i want to do first is I want to change this. I always forget to where to click. I need to click here. I need to change this to Canvas. So, uh, sorry, down here under Page Layout, Elementor Canvas. So I want to have complete control over how, how I design this page. And one of the important things is I'm going for a very simple design. I don't want to distract people and send them off to other parts of my website. If you look, for example, at my home page, I've got this here, this, uh, you know, fully full header with my uh, kind of my logo, links to other pages, my YouTube channel. And then at the bottom, I've got a, uh, a footer again with various links and then a copyright. I'm not gonna use that design here because I don't want people going to my blog post. I don't want them going to my YouTube channel. I want them to opt in. That's the goal. That's what I'm gonna focus on. So we'll go ahead and first we will add a new section. We'll make it a single column section. And what I want to do, actually, sorry, that's not what I want to do. I want to add a template because I've already got the template set up for my header and for my copyright. Um, so just search in here for header. Uh, let me look, here we go. It's this one here, landing page header. So go ahead and insert it. I don't want to import the document settings. Okay, so you see here, this is, the same as, as what you saw over on uh, my main page. It's the same font, same background color, but I've, and I've centered it, but I've eliminated everything else. Again, uh, you know, this is clickable. If people want to click over to my homepage, they can, but in general, I don't want people clicking off onto other things. Now, then I'm gonna add my, oops, add my copyright, because I do want my copyright. That is important. You do, do need to have something at the bottom, again, I don't want a full footer though. That's not what I'm going for here. So let's go ahead and insert that. Uh, click no again. Okay, so I've got that basic structure. Now, what I wanna do here is in between here, I'm obviously gonna put my contact content for my landing page. So we'll add a new section. I want a single uh, column section and we're gonna put a header on there. Uh, let me go ahead and center that 
And so what I like to do for my headers is I like to use a question, a simple yes, no question. That way people know with the opt-in that I'm giving them, you know, it's an easy way to know, does, is this something I want? Is this something I need? Is it something that's going to, you know, help me solve this problem that I'm struggling with? So uh, this is a sales tips guidebook. So, uh, you know, and I'll tweak some of this later on. I'm just, you know, I'm not gonna make this 100% perfect. I just wanna take you through the exercise. So the title, we can do something like, do you want to increase online sales of your products Oops. or services. Okay, uh, and actually let me head back over the section here. Oops, not what I want to do. And what I want to do, I want to make this about, I want to make a box of about 900. And I do want to put some spacing on top and on bottom. So come over here to padding, put about 50 on top and 50 on bottom. Okay, so it looks pretty good. Okay, then what I want to do, I want to make this stand out a little bit more. And so I'm going to put a divider on the top and bottom of that. So drop that in there. And I kind of like dashed dividers. So we'll make that dashed. And then I will duplicate it and bring this on down over there. So that's my, my kind of title, my introduction. Oops, forgot the question mark here at the end. So we'll put that. Okay, so we've got that. Close that out. Uh, and now what I want to do, I'm going to add an intersection. So I'm going to bring this in over here. So in this, this part here, what I want to do, I want to show people what they're going to receive and I want to tell them about it. So I've got a photo here. I like for PDF guides, this is a PDF guide. So I like images of the PDF guide. I think that works well. Again, we're very visual creatures. So it helps us if we can see what we're going to receive it. You know, it makes it more exciting, more interesting. And, you know, we say, oh yeah, this sound, this looks uh, like something I want. You know, if, if it's not a PDF guide, it's something more like a, a, a webinar, a virtual summit, you know, you could use a, a video teaser, you could put photos of the presenters, that sort of thing. Uh, but whatever it is, you know, some sort of visual that helps people. Uh, so I've got already here the, that set up. So go ahead and insert that. Now I'm gonna move this over because obviously I don't want that photo to be quite that large. Uh, we're gonna try this at about 30%. I think that looks a lot better. I can also make this into a, into a 3D image. Again, that might help somewhat with conversion. Uh, if it looks 3D right now, I've got it as a flat two-dimensional image, but uh, I could convert this into, into a 3D image and that might help a little bit as well. Uh, okay, so then over here, what I want there is, I'm gonna duplicate this and drag down because I want another heading down over here. Perfect. Uh, but I don't want it that way. And now I want it this way, perfect. So what do I wanna put here? This is kind of a sub headlining. Again, connecting this with this here. Um, so do you want to increase online sales of your products or services? Uh, get your free copy of the 27 sales tips. Okay. So I want to, I really want this just to be on one line. So I'm going to change the font size here. So we'll go into typography, maybe try about a 28, 28 works. Maybe I can get a little bigger. 30 also works. I think that works pretty well. So we'll keep that at 30 for now. Uh, and now what I want to do is I want to drop in some bullet points. Again, I'm going to tell people a little about this, a little bit about this guidebook. Again, I'm giving it away for free. This isn't a, isn't a sales page. I don't need to do a huge, big sales pitch. I'm just trying to, you know, give them a little idea of what they're going to receive here. So let's go with a uh, icon list. And actually, I want to put a little spacing in between that header and the icon list. Let me just drop a spacer in here. And I don't want that much space. Let's try 20 or maybe maybe 15 is good. Okay, so I've got a little spacing there and I know I'm gonna want this down at the bottom too in between my list and my button. So let me just duplicate that. Oops, nope, for some reason it's not letting me slide it down. I'll add it in later. Um, okay, so come over here. I'm gonna delete these two because I obviously want the same. Oops, I did not 
there we go, because I want the same symbol on all those, so I'll just delete those and then uh, duplicate there. So I've got this check mark on all those. Uh, I think I want the font a little bigger. Let's try, uh, let's try about a 20, oh, actually I want to change the font too. I don't think that's the right font. I tend to like Source Sans Pro, so let's change the font. There we go. And let's make that bigger. Oops. About a 21. Yeah, I think that looks well. Looks good. Okay. So now I need to put a little text on here. Um, let me see. I'm going to actually start with a bottom one here because I know <laughs> I actually know what I want for the second and third bullet. I have to think about what I want for the first bullet. I think about three to five points is good. You know, you can have more than three. I like three, but you know, if you've got a few more things to say about what you're giving away, you can do that. Um, but I think, you know, something like three works, works well. Um, so let's see, includes, oops, can't spell today, links to dozens of other resources. Uh, oops, kill that. Uh, this I also have it's not just as 27 sales tips there's also seven bonus tips I'm going to mention that in the second bullet sorry having problems editing that right now why is that not letting me edit it there we go so let's see um so includes links to links to dozen of other resources uh just put seven additional bonus tips and what do I want to put in this first one up here? Um, we'll put uh, detailed information on each of the 27, uh, 27 tips. Okay. So that's pretty good. You know, again, I'm just giving them a little information here. Again, because this is free, I don't really need to go into a lot of detail, but you know, I want to give them some idea of what's going to be included in this. So we've got that, but actually I want to make the font a little bit bigger. I don't think, I think I'll go up to 22 on that. I think that works better. I want to put a little space as well in between these. Uh, where is that? Let's see here. It's between, we'll make it about, about three. There we go. So got that, got that. Now, obviously I need a button here. So I'll add a button in here. Uh, let's see here. All right, and I did mention I want another spacer in there too between the, between the icon list and the, and the button. So we'll put that in there again, make that 15. Oops, <laughs> try it again. There we go, 15. Okay, and now let's work with this button here. Let's justify it so it goes all the way across. Uh, I generally like about a large size, works well, I think. Uh, the color, where is it? Background color. Uh, this actually happens to be the green that I use in a lot of my, a lot of my websites. So that's pretty easy right there. Uh, click here is not very exciting. I need to put uh, my own text here. Let's see. So double click there. Uh, and we'll just go, yes, I want the, oops, make that capitalized, the 27 sales tips. Okay. And I want to make that font a little bigger. It's kind of uh, not really standing out there. Let's make that maybe a 24. It's good. I wanna, let me just see if I make it bold. That's maybe a bit too much. Uh, let's bring it down to about a, oops, 700 doesn't change it much. That looks good, about a 500. Okay, so so we get this here. Uh, we've got our kind of headline, our subheadline, our three things there, that there. Now, obviously, I need to connect my button with my pop-up. I've already got my pop-up developed, so if you don't have that developed already, you'd have to go through and do that. So I come over here, go to the button, go to uh, link, click on dynamic, 
click on pop-up and then click pop-up again or he says open and then I search for my pop-up I want it's this one right here sales tips template let's actually go ahead and I haven't saved this yet so I'm gonna go ahead and save it as a draft so you know just in case anything bad happens we don't lose this uh, not saving did it save okay now it's saving okay so let me see I want to make a few tweaks here so I also want to make this clickable I also want this to pop up the pop-up uh, you know it's just a little thing it may not make a big difference but you know some people may click on this and you know they get the trigger the pop-up and you know maybe they'll sign up that way so again I can come over here edit image uh, go here to link go custom go dynamic pop-up and again click there and we'll search for my pop-up okay so we've got that I really now as you can see here this is much bigger than what I've got here so I want to make this about equivalent so I'm gonna to have to uh, make this a little smaller maybe make this about 25 I also want more space this is a little cramped here with this uh, there's not much space between the columns so I'm gonna come over here to the edit the intersection and I can make the column gap wider let's see okay that's good I actually think that looks pretty pretty good uh, right there I also want to put a little more space here between uh, this kind of headline and the main part there so I'm gonna put uh, go ahead and edit the intersection there go to advanced unlink those uh, let's try about 30 at the top and I also want some space here at the bottom let me try about 50 at the bottom okay good so let's go ahead and save that and we'll go ahead and preview it take a look at what it looks like so one of the things I'm also going for here is I do want this button to be in the main viewing area I don't want people to have to scroll down and find it I want it to be right there where they can see it uh, and so I have achieved that you know you'll have to test that out depending on uh, you know this is a I'm using a smaller screen mine is about a 14 inch laptop you know it may be easier if you've got a, a bigger laptop but uh, you know mine definitely appears there let's so we now what we want to do you know we obviously want to make sure these work so I click on that boom it works one of the things here you're seeing then is that I'm also aiming for consistency so again you're seeing this kind of same two column structure my pop-up is what you saw on the landing page you've got that same picture here uh, the the same button same color same words and so you know you don't want to surprise people at this point they've decided yeah I want to click on this I want to sign up you don't want to throw them for a curve at this point you want them to complete the action of signing up for your opt-in so uh, you know this is why I'm aiming for consistency that everything you know looks the same and works the same so uh, so that works let me make sure that works yep that works as well they've got two things there to click on the button as well as that so that looks pretty good but there's obviously one more very 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 important part which is that uh, I need to make this mobile friendly uh, tablets I'm not too worried about I will make it tablet friendly uh, but tablets only get about three to five percent of traffic I'm more concerned about you know mobile phones which now are driving I believe over 50 percent of traffic so if you don't have a mobile friendly website then you know you've got a problem here because you know the people who come from mobile aren't going to be able to opt in to your freebie and you obviously don't want to lose that you're going to you know lose a lot of people that way so go here to responsive and take a look first at how it looks on tablet uh, it's not too bad uh, I may want to can I change the let me just see if I can change yeah I can change the column you know you've got to be careful with the mobile things and you've got to make sure you know not everything can be changed based on uh, you know you've got to look make sure you've got these icons here maybe if I if I make this too big I know I think I'm gonna put it into two columns which isn't really what I want so I may not be able to change that uh, and so I'm gonna make some of these things smaller so I want this again to just be on one line I don't want it to be on two lines the way it is there so let's make that 24 works can I go up no I can't go up to 26 so let's just make that 24 uh, maybe a little less space here uh, can I change that yeah I can change it so I had it at 10 maybe make it 5 there and then come down here and also make it about 5 
Uh, now one thing I can't change, you know, I picked a large size button. You can't actually change that. That's one of the things that you can't change. If you look over here where it says size, there's no, none of these symbols that tell you, uh, you know, you can make it a different size. So I may make this font a little smaller though. Uh, so let me work on that. Uh, come over here and let's see, maybe about a 22. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so again, it's not, uh, I wonder if, wait, hold on, let me see if I can just, if I go up to 26, oh, you know, I can't even get to 26, 25. It looks like that's the best I can do. You know, it's not 100% between these two sections. Uh, I could actually, what I could do is make this uh, align it, how do I wanna align it vertically? I always forget, <laughs> vertically and, and uh, horizontally. Yeah, so I put that in the middle, so that does now kind of fit better relative to what's on the other side. So we've got that done. I think that looks pretty nice, so we'll go ahead and save that draft. And then we will come over to the more important one, the more challenging one, which is mobile. So first thing, okay, that looks fine. Uh, I, want, I want less space here at the top. I don't want quite as much of a gap, so I'm gonna come over here, edit the section, uh, unlink those values, make it about 25 at top and maybe 25 at bottom. We'll have to look at the bottom. This is way too much, this is way too big. I want this, you know, I, I can't get this all in one line, but I think two lines, hopefully I can do. So let's see here. Come in here to typography. Let's try about 18, ooh, 18 is way too small. Uh, 21, I may have to do two lines. I may need to actually, yeah, let me actually, if I'm gonna have to be on three lines, I might as well go that size. Give it a little bit of line height, about a 1.2. Actually, maybe a 1.1 is good. Uh, and maybe what I wanna do, oops, is bring it over, change the alignment on this and make it left justified. Yeah, I think that works better on a mobile having this left justified than having it center justified. So, so the next thing, this, ah, okay, hold on. Actually, <laughs> before I get to that, uh, let me again, that looks better there, I think without the padding at the top. Uh, this for me looks a bit large for mobile. So one thing you can do, and I believe this is simply a pro, uh, this is only on pro, it's not available on, uh, the basic one is you can hide certain things on based on mobile tablet or desktop. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hide this image on desk uh, on mobile. Okay. So now it's hidden <coughs> still shows up here, but if I were to go and look at this on my mobile phone, this would not show up. Okay. So what I want to do instead, I'm going to copy this image. And I'm now going to make a smaller version of it for it to use on uh, mobile. So come down here, go to custom size, and I want about 150 by 200. Go ahead and apply that. Okay, perfect. And let's just, let's left justify that as well. Again, I'm going to want to have to look at this on my mobile phone just to verify that everything looks okay. Again, it's a little hard to work with because, uh, you know, I've got this thing here that's not going to show up on my mobile phone, but it does show up as I'm doing the actual design. And then I want to turn this image off on the other one. So I come over here to responsive, turn it back on a mobile and turn it off on desktop and tablet. Let me go ahead and save it. Okay, and then come over here and let me look at this bottom part here. That actually looks pretty good. I may want to put a little uh, line height on it. Again, maybe about a 1.1. And is this already left justified? It is. Let me, yeah. So that's actually pretty good already. I think that this here works pretty well. I don't think I really need to tweak anything other than maybe the font size here. Let me see, go here to typography. I'm not gonna be able to get this all in one line. Uh, 
I wonder how that works is, I don't know. You know, sometimes you just gotta play around with it. You're not gonna get it perfect. Uh, you know, mobile can be a little little challenging. Uh, and I may play around with a, this a little more once I'm done with the video again. I'm just, just showing you how to do it. I'm not trying to make this 100% perfect. Um, hmm. Not sure what, <laughs> what looks best here. Uh, I think maybe we'll just go with about a 24 or maybe a 22. I think that looks pretty good. Again, I'll probably tweak this a little bit later on. Again, oops, give it a little line height. Uh, let's, again, 1.1. And I may want a little more space here between the button and the copyright. So let me, uh, is that in the, what is controlling that? Is it a section? Yeah, so let's go ahead and edit the intersection and put a padding of about 25 at the bottom. Make sure that worked. Yeah, so there's that extra. So go ahead and save this. Let's go back to the desktop version. Now again, the desktop version, you're gonna see this second one here in the design part of Elementor. But if we go ahead and preview this, it shouldn't show up and it doesn't show up. So that's it. That is uh, what I consider a high converting opt-in landing page created in Elementor. Uh, I can't look right now to see exactly how much time this took from start to finish, uh, roughly 30 minutes, hopefully. Uh, Again, oh, one other thing real quick, sorry. You know, you do want to verify that, you know, this works. I've already got this connected to ActiveCampaign. I've already verified that it works, but that is another step. You do want to make sure that everything works, that when you fill out, you know, a name and an email address that you do actually get sent this by whatever, you know, if you're using ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, Constant Contact, uh, ConvertKit, whatever it is you're using, you do want to make sure that this works as well. That is another step that I forgot to mention. Um, so that's it. So if you've got questions or comments, please let me know in the video below. Uh, also, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do have more videos coming out to uh, give you tips and help in tutorials related to Elementor. And if you don't have Elementor Pro, you know there were a few things here today which I showed you that you do need to have Elementor Pro for. Uh, again, I've I say this, I think in probably every video I do, I think Elementor Pro is absolutely 100% worth it. If you don't have it, I will put my affiliate link in the description. I do appreciate it if people buy via my affiliate link. Sorry, can't talk all of a sudden. Uh, it does give me a little bit of money and it helps me to continue to make these sort of videos. So that's it. Uh, comments, questions, uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to buy uh, Elementor Pro, I appreciate it if you do it via my affiliate link. So that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.